Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you hopefully a pretty quick video and it's just going to be a quick tip to help you zero your offset sights or possibly your offset red dot. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I'm referring to iron sights that are mounted at a 45 degree angle from your primary optic. Uh, also this exact same thing can be done with a offset red dot. Uh, there's a lot of reasons you might want to run a setup like this. Me personally, I'm running these just as a backup. Uh, so I would never transition to these unless my primary optic went down. Uh, that's just how I have this particular firearm set up. Uh, some people will run these at a different zero distance than their primary optic. That's a good option as well. Also, you could just simply transition to these if you're going between long shots and then very close range shots. Having a red dot mounted offset like this is a really good option as well. But like I said, for me, this is just a backup setup on this particular firearm, so iron sights will do just fine. So whatever your reason is for running irons or a red dot at this setup, it really doesn't matter. There's only really one good way to ensure that you have these zeroed absolutely perfect. Preferably if you have a M-lock or a key mod rail or something like that that has mounting points in between the 3, 6, and 9, that will absolutely work the best. And what you will do is mount a piece of Picatinny rail into those in-between positions and then mount a bipod to that Picatinny rail. Now I don't have M-lock on this particular rail on the in-between positions, so I just used a BCM mount that 45s a piece of M-lock uh, to Picatinny at the position that I need. And so what that's going to allow me to do is take this little cheap bipod. This is a very, very inexpensive bipod, but it works well. And I can quickly put that on there, and that's going to mount the firearm at exactly a 45 degree angle. So now I can go ahead and zero my iron sights, and I'll know that I have everything at exactly the right angle. After that, and after you know the firearm is perfectly zeroed at 45 degrees, then it's going to become more of a training issue learning how to quickly cant that firearm and always hit that 45 degree angle making sure that you're not going too far or not far enough this is a really simple easy hack to do this i've been using it for a while and a lot of people just simply don't think about it and it works really well these iron sights are actually already zeroed i just wanted to come out today and make a quick video for you guys on this topic but while i'm down here at the range and i do have the bipod mounted up at a 45 degree angle I am going to go ahead and confirm my zero while I'm here. All right, those felt pretty good. And using my magnified optic, I can easily see my hits. I've got a group down there about the size of a golf ball, so nothing special but the irons are still zeroed. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to 150 yards, see if we can get some hits from there. All right, so we are now back at the 150 yard line, and I'm going to be shooting at a steel target, so you should be able to hear the hits, and it's just a standard uh, C-zone piece of steel. My table here is kind of slick. It's got some moss growing on it, so my bipod is moving all over, but uh, hopefully I can get some hits. Well, that is three hits at 150 yards using the offset irons. So this type of sighting system can definitely be effective. Uh, generally, this is not the kind of range that I use a setup like this for. Usually it's going to be sub 100 yards, and realistically it's going to be sub 50 yards. But I think it does show that when you zero these things correctly, they can definitely do the job. Well, that's about it for today, guys. I hope this little hat helped you guys out. If you're out on the range, zero in these type of iron sights or possibly a red dot. Uh, a setup like this has tons of uses. I know a lot of people think it is a gimmick, uh, but I trust me, it is not. I've ran offset red dots in the past uh, as a primary and a secondary optic, and I've also ran dedicated irons that were offset just like this as more of a backup, and they really do work. And as I've shown here, they can be effective even at distance. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found the information helpful. If you have anything that you want to contact me directly for, Instagram is the best place to do so. Also, if you're not following me over there, I would really appreciate that as well. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.
very effective. 